Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's episode we're going to be flipping 10 in search of snakes at a couple of spots we have yet to visit in 2023. So let's get to it and hopefully we'll turn up some critters. Racer? Thought that was a coach whip for a second. Come here. Dude, what have you got going on? That is gnarly. I just want to flip the rest of this stuff. Go back under. Oh, worm snake. Didn't even see him at first. Well, there's the first worm snake of the episode. I'd be pretty surprised if it's the only one though. They have been everywhere lately. Well, I was just randomly walking through the woods to my next tin and I spotted this guy out on the crawl. Very sharp looking freshly shed black racer. Looks like velvet. Very, very handsome snake, but We'll just leave him to his business. I'm sure we will probably see a couple of these today. Oh, well, here's kind of a random flip. It's a nice little marbled salamander under 10. Actually, not the first time I've seen a marbled under this piece, but very nice. We'll just cover him back up. All well, the benefits of controlled burn strike again. I just spotted our next racer of the day right there. Probably would not have seen him if that was all grown up, but he's very obvious right now. The two racers we've seen out in the open today have both been really nice looking. I mean, he has freshly shed. The birds are going crazy out here. It's awesome today. Oh, copperhead. Right there. I didn't see him at first. It's a nice find. This old burn-up house has been one of my more productive copperhead flip spots here by home. And uh, nice to get one here today because they are not a super common sight flipping 10 around here as common as they can be on the roads. But I'm gonna move this guy out of the way real quick and flip through the rest of the stack. All right, buddy. I'm kind of curious if that's a copperhead I've found here before. Get that off of you. All right, dude. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put you right there. Very wet right there. Looks like just the one copperhead. All right, buddy. Let's put you back. There you go. That was easy. Ooh. What was that? Ring neck. Come here. Kind of surprised it took that long to get one today. All right. Two snakes at this stop so far. Ring neck and a copperhead. All right, here's a closer look at the first ring neck of the episode. I'm sure there will be many more to come, as there are in every episode this time of year. But, uh, just let him go. Another ring neck. Look at this little dude. Tiny guy. Under this really kind of warm piece of tin in the sun. Right beside the last ring neck. Hey, look at that. We got an incidental turtle cruise. What's going on, dude? That's a weird looking slider. Look at that thing. Almost completely black. Very cool. How's it going? The road is not the place for you, darling. Even if it's a dirt one. All right, as much as I'm sure you would love to frolic in this puddle all day. <laughs> look at this thing. Hello. 
I'm, I'm actually trying to help you. I really, I promise. I don't want you to get run over. So we're gonna step you up this way and encourage you to go on the other side of the fence. Let's see. Go on. I'm sure there's more water over there. There's a lot of swamps around here. Plenty of places for you that are better than that puddle in the road. We had so much rain the other night that the roads just look like this right now. And this is not even a swampy area. It's just how much rain we got. Oh, a little ring neck. Look at that guy. Deep in shed. All right, little dude. Sorry to bother you. All right, I'm kind of walking into my last tin spot in this area. And uh, once I check that, we're gonna move on to a different area, but I have to cruise over there first. So maybe we'll see something here. Maybe we'll see something on the road. And if not, I will check in with you guys at what will probably be our last spot of the day. Oh, ring neck and two fins lizards. <laughs> Look at these things zooming around. Nice. Let's see if there's anything at the bottom. That looks good. Not today though. Look at this puddle boy. I think it's either a bullfrog or a green frog just chilling in this very muddy and very often driven through puddle. All right, everyone, ignore the creepy humming noise in the sky. I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna spend the rest of my day flipping rocks at this spot. I flipped a little bit of tin here, did not see anything else, and I'm kind of at a loss. Today has been strangely bad considering how perfect the weather is. At least we've seen good numbers of common snakes though, and I can't complain about that. Copperhead's definitely probably the highlight so far, but I'm gonna poke around here a little bit and see if I can turn up anything to end the day. There's a couple of Webster salamanders. This is not a species we've seen too much this year. Look at these guys, two of them under this one little rock together. For those who aren't familiar with this species, they're very superficially similar to redbacks and zigzag salamanders, but genetically they're distinct and they do have some nuanced differences that you can see if you've seen a lot of both species. Tiny Tantilla. Well, that's nothing new. We've been seeing these guys more than just about anything. I think we've probably seen more tantilla than ringnecks lately. Ringneck. Fat, healthy ringneck. Look at that. That was a very good looking, very healthy ringneck. I think a lot of these ringnecks are already grabbed because we had such an early spring. But uh, there you go. Back to your rock. Finally got into a couple of snakes in this little area, so we'll poke around a little bit more. Oh, little Tantilla. It's actually a bigger Tantilla. Oh, Tantilla, another one. Decent numbers of snakes right here. This is food for what I'm hoping to see. So uh, I'll put him back. Keep at it, we got another hour or so before it starts getting dark on us. All right, everyone, well, on that note, I think I'm gonna call it a day here. It is almost six o'clock in the afternoon and I am pretty exhausted done a lot of flipping today and quite a bit of snake finding too just not as much as I would have hoped for. I think it's a little bit early in the season still to be flipping some of this stuff and expecting great results. I'll definitely be back to this area in a couple weeks and we'll hit it again and hopefully it'll be more productive but for now I'm gonna call it a day and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone it's the next day and it got pretty cold again last night down into the high 30s which is pretty insane for almost April. But uh, that's just been how it's been lately. We've been having a lot of cold overnights, which is not the best for herping, especially this late in the year, but it's better than it being too hot. So that being said, I'm gonna try to get out and enjoy the sun for a couple hours today, and hopefully the snakes will be doing the same. So we'll see. Whoa, rat snake. And slimy down at the other end. That's actually, I think, the first rat snake I've ever found here. Definitely the first I've gotten under this piece of tin. Oh, he's deep in shed. Not looking the best, but it is a big, healthy rat snake, other than the fact that he's in shed. I've always wondered why I don't see more snakes at this spot. I think part of the reason I don't see too many snakes here is because most of the tin is this, like, actual aluminum. 
rather than the good heavy stuff this stuff is super thin super light and gets very hot fast so the only reason he was in there is because it's layered i believe i just realized the snake is actually not in shed it's just got a bad eye on that side which maybe it's about to go into shed and it'll clear that up when it does shed but uh either way kind of weird because i was holding the snake for like five minutes before i realized that it has a fine clear eye on this side it's just the other side that's bad oh yeah there you go perfect and between the bluebird skies and the fact that it got down to the high 30s last night i'm not super optimistic we're gonna see too many snakes today so i'm pretty happy that we got a nice adult rat but I do have a little bit more tin to flip and then I'm gonna hike around in habitat and hope that something is out basking after that. So I just saw a racer out on the crawl. Um, he dipped before I could get any video, but I'm hoping that's gonna be a good omen that my main target for the day is going to be out crawling around. Well, this is not exactly the type of habitat I was expecting to see that guy in. Look at that. Nice chunky adult red salamander. Kind of interesting color on him too. He's a little pale. All right, guys, I'm probably going to be wrapping up here pretty soon because I just haven't seen too much, but I did just end the day with a pretty good snake if I don't see anything else. This is my first crown snake from this county. It's actually a huge, beautiful adult. Like I said, these guys have been everywhere lately, and uh, I'm even finding them at places that I don't usually find them, like this spot. Just look at this thing's head. It's super cool looking, and it's huge for a crown snake. I mean, that's about as big as southeasterns get. What a fantastic looking little snake. I let this guy coil up under a piece of bark on this rock and he has sat still perfectly. Very, very seldom do we get to see these guys when they're not wiggling. All right, dude, thank you for existing. Probably gonna be the highlight of the day unless we see something cool at home. All right, I'm back home. I'm gonna flip here and hopefully we'll see something to end the day. The yard tin has been pretty slow this year, aside from the first day I flipped it when we got two king snakes and a garter. So we'll see if anything turns up today. Hey, a rat snake. Yard rat. First big snake under this pea shep this year. Wonder if we've seen this guy before. It kind of looks like the one we saw eating a chipmunk under this piece of tin a while back. Very nice though. Hopefully there will be more stuff here at home. This guy was not here the other day. I am always happy to see any kind of large snake here at home. Um, I don't really see any super distinct markings on this guy. He's pretty dark, um, but I might be able to tell if I've seen him before. Um, we're going to move him just to put the tin back. Very cool to the touch. How's it going, buddy? Look at that belly. We do have some really nice rat snakes here. I'm just gonna put your tin down and let you go. This guy's definitely a little bit on the thin side, so hopefully he can secure a meal here soon. We'll just let him slip back under. Very nice. Ugh, he stinks. Oh, a racer. Look at that. That's the first snake I found under this thing. Maybe ever. Lots of firsts here today. He's gonna be warm. Yep. Yep. In the blue. Come on, dude. I mean, at least he's just pooping and not biting. What's up, dude? Super, super blue. Very nice. We ended up getting some decent numbers of snakes today. And any day I find two big snakes here at home is a good day. But I mean, they're definitely not something I take for granted being able to find cool snakes like this right here behind the house. It's fantastic, and I'm always happy with it, so. All right, dude. You know where you're at? Yeah, he knows where he's at. Oh. Got him. Ring neck. That is yet another set producing the first snake of the year today. Very nice. Actually did not see any other ringnecks today, I don't think. Might be the only one. All right, everyone. Well, it has been a pretty solid day considering how cold it was last night and the fact that it's very, very bluebird sky today, which y'all know I do not like. 
Luckily, it's kind of hard to go wrong this time of year unless the weather is just absolutely unbelievable. Like the fact that I have another tick crawling on my leg. That's the fourth one today. Definitely be careful out there, anyone who's hiking or herping or fishing, anywhere you might get ticks on you, because tick-borne illness is a very scary and very real thing. And it seems to get worse and worse every year, so make sure to get these guys off you before they bite you. But yeah, gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned. I'm about to release some of my favorite finds of the year, and I think some of my favorite episodes I've filmed so far this year. So those are gonna be coming your way pretty soon. And otherwise, I have a lot of plans for the next couple weeks. I'm pretty much nonstop from here until summertime. So drop a subscription if you're not subscribed already and you're enjoying the content. It's much appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next episode.